welcome to Marine Biology Post's YouTube channel. We're back for another video. Today we're going to do a kind of like come with me for the week at university and I'll show you all about marine biology, what we're studying, what we're doing, Corona edition. So <laughs> it's going to be in my room a lot, but that's what we're going to do this week. And hopefully it will help answer some of your questions about what we get up to, what the lectures are like and what we're learning. Okay, so we're gonna dive straight into Monday and I'll show you what we got up to. Okay, so uh, today is Monday, so I'm gonna be doing some lectures for uh, one of my modules this term. Okay, so the lectures I'm gonna be looking over today are for a module called Zooplankton Ecology and Processes and uh, basically all of our lectures are now online so I just have videos that I have to go through online and take notes uh, and then we have a live Q&A kind of session further on in the week where we go over everything that we've learned from the lectures so I'm gonna get going with that. Also I was just gonna say this week uh, the topic we're doing is sampling and monitoring so I'm gonna just show you uh, me taking the notes as I do the lecture um, probably is going to be super boring but this is what university is like at the moment it's all online because of corona in the UK we're going into lockdown again on Thursday so like Wednesday night lockdown's going to start and it's for a month so I'm literally probably going to be in the room all week uh, just doing work so it's going to be really boring but this is just the reality of corona edition marine biology at university just finished those lectures it's probably been about like 20 seconds Eve it's been like two and a half hours for me uh, it was actually really really interesting it was about how we have these like grand challenges with the ocean and what are the drivers for these challenges what are like the things that are threatening these challenges or like making them worse and how we're like monitoring everything how we're collecting data where we're we putting all this data and what do we do with all this data um so yeah it was quite an interesting lecture uh so i basically just write all my notes up into these big uh folders like this so like i've done whoop, i've done this, this, and then a little bit on another page today. Uh, so as I just listen to the lectures, I write it all up in here, so it's all in one place, and it's all neat and tidy. Um, and I might do a re like revision or like how I revise video if people are interested. So that's all done for today, which is pretty good. For our assessments for this module, it's very, very different from last year. Like last year, a lot of our assessments were just like exams, um, but because of corona they've had to cancel all our exams. So it's all coursework this year, um, so it's very different. So this module we're having to make posters, it sounds very year 8 and I wasn't that convinced on it at the beginning, but it's actually quite interesting and a very different way of like learning. So we're going to have to make posters for these topics, um, like an online poster. So I need to probably get going with that as well. But yeah, it's it's very different this year. And I know this is so boring, like I'm just sitting in my room, but this is just how it is at the moment. I wish I could be on the boat, I wish I could be going to lectures, but this is just the way it is right now. And hopefully next year will be normal. And fingers crossed for if you guys are looking into marine biology, by the time you get here, it'll be fine again. You won't have to deal with this. I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> Okay, so hello, today is Tuesday, so I'm going to be going through another module's lectures today, so I'm doing Coastal Ocean Processes, 
This is more of a oceanography and geography kind of module. It's all about the coasts basically and how our coasts are formed, what gives them their shape and structure, the processes of the tides and all that jazz. It's also about the physics of the ocean and about how the marine organisms within the ocean are able to travel and swim and function in terms of the physics uh, of the sea. I'm going to do the lectures now and I will get back to you after I'm done. Okay, so I just finished the lectures for this week for Coastal Ocean Processes and it was really interesting, it was all about how tides work and how they're generated. So you basically start off by envisioning the world with like no land masses on it, with the moon going completely circular around the earth and then the earth going completely circular around the sun and then you start adding in different aspects that actually happen uh, in real life. So you start adding in continents, you start adding in Coriolis and friction, and then you consider the angle of the moon to the earth and the angle of the earth to the sun, and you come up with how we get tides and how different tides are seen around the world. And yeah, it was really interesting, definitely more oceanography based than marine biology based. Uh, we did actually go over um, some parts of marine biology about grunion fish, which are these fish that uh, swim up the beach at low tide, lay their eggs, the eggs get fertilized, and then they wait 14 days until there's a, a large spring tide uh, before the eggs are then like hatched and all the fish swim off into the sea. Um, so yeah, it was really interesting. I will see you tomorrow for another day. Hello, happy Wednesday. So today it's a bit all over the place because I'm actually going canoeing this morning. I'm part of the canoe club with the university so it's just before lockdown and we're going to do the last river trip. So that's going to be really fun but when I get back I have a live kind of Q&A style for zooplankton and ecology so I will take you through that when I get back from canoeing. <laughs> Okay, so I'm probably looking a little bit worse for wear. Uh, I've just come back from canoeing and I've just also had my zooplankton live like Q&A um, for this week. And I was just gonna talk to you about what we've been doing. So basically we have um, a 40%, 60% split in um, the coursework for this module. So 40% is gonna be marked on doing some data analysis. It is quite difficult, I'm not on Excel Pro by any means, uh, so I am finding it quite difficult, but um, I just thought I'd let you know about that. And in the Q&A, we were just given a chance to ask questions about things we were struggling with and what we found difficult. So it's a place to get help, basically, for the assignment and then the other 60% uh, of the coursework is based on making like a, it's, it's another poster, <laughs> making a poster on a topic that we've learnt about and like some scientific articles and like summarising them within this poster. So I haven't started that yet, uh, I've got to do that. But um, yeah, so it's half data analysis, half poster making, um, but that's what we've done for this module. So tomorrow I'm going to go through marine vertebrates um, and I will have a tutor meeting. So I will see you then. Bye! Okay, so today has been super hectic so I haven't filmed this morning. Um, but I'm going to talk to you about what I did today. So today I had a tutor meeting and it was more of like a check-in on how we're all doing, it was online, uh, not in person. And then I went through the last module's lectures for this week, and it was for the module Marine Vertebrates. So within this module, we've been doing 
uh, like defining vertebrates and then we've been going through uh, fishes, so we've been learning all about like fish ecology, fish anatomy and ph fish physiology, bit of a mouthful, um, and today was about fish ecology, uh, so I will show you some of my notes that I took today. Today I ended up doing, today I did this, I did this, and then I also did this today, and then I also had a, um, live Q&A for Coastal Ocean Processes. We did any questions that we had, we could ask and he'd go through stuff. We also had to do some research on tidal power generation and we went through that. Um, yeah, so that was today. It's dark outside, I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna go get dinner. But also I just wanted to say tomorrow for Friday, uh, I can't film anything because I'm actually going home. I have to go home and get my wisdom teeth taken out. Um, so this week's been a bit stressful but I won't be filming tomorrow but that's been the week so far it's just a lot of online things it's all a little bit boring to watch and I know that it's probably really disappointing um, in terms of like what I've actually shown you but the actual content of the lectures are really interesting it's just not exactly um, what you're all expecting probably but this is just the reality of it at the moment but uh, I'll put up some clips of like what we got up to last year on the boats um, and like labs and things so you can see what it normally would be like and normally for all these lectures we would be going in and doing them in person but this year obviously because of corona we are doing it all online but that's been the week so far so this is what it's like pretty much every week um, but yeah I'm, I really hope that you enjoyed uh, watching this week Okay guys, so that was the week. I know I didn't film Friday, it's because I had to go home for the hospital, but um, normally on Friday I have another Q&A and I've done all of my lectures by then, so it's just doing coursework and any assignments that I have to do. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, I hope it was helpful and I'm really enjoying filming these, so let me know if you wanna see another one. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.